Lori here today with my weekly wax basket. If you watched yesterday's video, and I hope that you did, you know our theme today or for the week is it's fall, y'all. <laughs> and I wish, I wish the weather would cooperate. It is still in the 80s and in Michigan, it should be in the 70s or starting to be in the high 60s here. And so I'm, I'm over it. I am. I know what's going to happen. We're going to go from the 80s to the 40s <laughs> without my gorgeous fall weather that I look forward to every year. So I'm kind of sad about that. So fingers crossed that we get a few good weeks of some nice 60 degree temps where I can throw up in the windows and just enjoy. I'm super excited to do that. I have my pumpkin spice shirt on from Kohl's that I just picked up. I saw Bonnie the other day wearing the same shirt. And I'm like, I promise I purchased it before I saw her video. But anyway, love her and her video. So I don't care. We can have the same shirts. We both shop at Kohl's. Okay, keeping with the theme, I'm going to grab and break my candle of the week from Bath & Body Works Old Fashioned Cider Donut here. We have the nice, like, what, tan-colored wax. The scent notes say old-fashioned cake donut, baked apple sprinkled with brown sugar. So I am looking forward to burning this. I will do a review and post it on the site here. So check it out, and I'll have that up for you guys. I'll burn it a few times, and then we'll review it at that point. Okay, so I tried to pick a variety of fall types of scents. And, you know, of course, I pick scents for my bedroom and bathroom and coffee scents. And so there's a wide variety here. I don't anticipate I'm going to go through it all. I know it's a lot of wax. <laughs> That's what we say here. But I like to have a nice variety. And we are continuing the theme at the end of the month where the final week is the using up the leftovers theme, which helps, you know, to, to get some things moving out of the collection that have been partially used. I have just really been in the mood for heavy bakery, even though it's super hot outside. I don't know why. So I pulled a few of those, you'll see. I do have my basket over here. So if you see me putting them, I'm not just throwing them on the floor, although that would be funny. We have from L3, Zucchini Bread, Santa's on Keto, 11 pound cake in a puppy pack. I have from Sassy Wax Melts, Butter Pecan Shortbread, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles in these fun, like, what, what do we call them? They're pie slices, very cute. I wanted to make sure that I had a variety too, so it wasn't just all the same type of scents. So this sounded kind of fun, Saturday morning cartoons. I do have a cereal drawer because my son loves cereal scents, so picked that from there. And then we have a strawberry drawer because you guys know I love strawberry scents. And I'm kind of on a strawberry kick right now. This is from Southbound Fried Jelly Donut, Powdered Sugar, Fried Dough, Sweet Vanilla, and Strawberry Jam. I will rebag this once I use it. You guys know I don't like the bakery bags at all. Okay, so we have from Salt Mountain Blackberry Sugar Bread, which is blackberry baked bread and sugar. I have Blueberry Muffin from Rose Girls. We have Cider Donuts type from L3 in these chunks. I have Butter Pecan Ice Cream from Hayden Rowe. I have a couple that I thought I would do together because I only have one of each, actually. Dessa's Homespun Scent Burnt Sugar Cake, which is buttery cake batter and burnt sugar frosting. And then Dogs Are Barking. We have Snickerdoodle here from The Melted Moose. I have, I'm reaching over. I have the pharmacist's daughter coffee cake, which is coffee house, pumpkin pecan waffles, creme brulee, and vanilla pound cake. So I have two of these. I will probably go through one and a half. We'll see. So I might have a little bit left over and I'll mix it in with the pumpkin pecan waffle scent or something like that. Okay, so I pulled these to melt at the same time. Candy apple candy apple taffy that's hard to say and tea time tarts cotton candy green apple and salt water taffy and i had caramel apple cheesecake i'm not sure how much that's gonna i don't know and then we have crayon apple marmalade tart tart cranberry juicy red apple sugared cinnamon spice and vanilla 
So we'll see, and this was from Caviar Dreams. I found her on Etsy, I don't know if she's still around. But anyway, so we'll see what we can do with these. If not, if, you know, it's not, if I have some left over, I might melt it in here, you know, one of them or whatever, just to use up some of the smaller pieces that I have and kind of, you know, mix them together. All right, we have Hufflepuff from L3, fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Pasties, we have those here in Michigan, but I think that's a little bit of a different thing. All right, we have Kaylin Scotcheroos from Rose Girls, butterscotch and marshmallows. I have a sample that I'm going to use in here. I pulled a lot of my fall wax back early spring and put it all in a container and that includes some of my samples. So I found this in the sam in the um, fall drawer. Pumpkin pecan waffles, cider lane, mallow, fireside, and blackberry. So I'll melt that in here. I might melt this in here too because I don't know that I have anything else that's truly like this. I don't know. So this is orange caramel cake. This was a sample from Birdie's Making Sense. The only thing, I mean, I guess I don't know, I'm looking around. I have two of these from Wolf Wicks, Balto's House, which is spiced orange cranberry ice cream scoop bread and Hansel and Gretel. So I don't know, I mean, I might mix all of these together. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with these, but I don't have a lot of scents that are similar to those, so we'll see. I have a couple from Beezy's here, this oatmeal raisin cookie. That was in my fall drawer. Then I have a few of these scent shot cups and you guys know how I feel about them. I'm try <laughs> trying to move them, move them right along. So Midnight Daydream, I have two that are different, but I figure I can put them in alternating warmers. This is Cornbread Marshmallow Cookie Jar, which is Country Cornbread Pudding, Marshmallow Bakery, and Nana's Cookie Jar. And then the Zucchini Waffle Confection, which is Zucchini Cupcakes, Caramel Confection, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So we will do those and then this next one I have two of, Cotton Candy Churro Donut, which is cotton candy and glazed churro donuts. So I melt those at the same time. I usually cut these in half with my larger warmers, and then I have two smaller warmers, so it works out perfect. I have three larger warmers, two smaller, and it's the perfect amount, it works good. So next we have Gas Station Munchies, which is Irish Cream Coffee, Pumpkin Donut Shop type Twinkies and Grandma's Oatmeal Raisin Cookie. Two of the same thing here. And this next one is Main Street Confectionery, Cake Better Cookies, Cotton Candy, and Kettle Corn. Let's see what else I have, because I have a couple more here from him. Oh yeah, and I have Philharmonic Pie, which is fresh baked crust filled with rich apple filling. So I have a few of those that I would like to kind of use that have been in my fall drawer. I think that would be great. Okay, so I have this Sweet Pumpkin Cake from Villainous Wax. I only have this one left, so I will probably mix something in with it, maybe like the Hufflepuff or something like that. Oh, this is this smells so delicious. I will probably, to be honest, I want this to go as long as possible and as far as possible. I need a larger size from her. This is pumpkin pecan brittle, which is the crunchy brittle and salted peanuts along with toasted pumpkin seeds from that small good shop. I have just sat and sniffed this, like I had it next to me as like an aromatherapy thing. It's so good. I think I'm going to melt it in here and enjoy it in my office while I'm working during the day, maybe once, if, maybe twice this week. But I want to savor that as long as possible. So I don't want to put it throughout my house and then have it going and then have a lot of it gone. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna savor that one. So next I have Americana from Southbound or the 4th of July sampler apple fritters and whipped cream. So I thought this might be a good time to use that you know, in my warmers. So then I have a few more here. I have banana pudding from L3. I had ordered this as part of her customs the last time that she had done them. She's doing them again, but I had just ordered her banana pudding scent and really enjoy it. So if I'm in the mood for a banana scent this week, that will be the one that I pull. This is left over from last week's and I just was not in the mood for pumpkin. A whole bunch of pumpkin scents because it's still warm, fingers crossed. I know it's still in the 80s, but let's hope we have a nice cool night or something that this will be good. This is Cupcakes in Salem from Vintage Chic. 
Yummy rich vanilla cupcakes smeared with pumpkin cinnamon frosting. This is not spicy at all to my nose, so I will enjoy that. I know I will when I <laughs> get around to melting it. I have picked up these Oak and Rye Day of the Dead melts at Kroger, and I picked up a few. I want to try them because if they're great. I might want to pick up a few more before they're gone. This is, I'm probably going to butcher this, so I apologize. Is it empanada de frieza? I don't know. I apologize. <laughs> you know, you guys know German was my thing, and I can't, I butcher that too, so. So this is apple berry pastry. So I will be melting this hopefully this week. It smells really good and I enjoy it. It kind of reminds me honestly of the, I know it says apple berry, but it kind of reminds me of the blueberry muffin a little bit. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, so for some mixer scents, if anything's a little bit too spicy to my nose or even if I just want to melt some wonderful decadent vanilla type bakery, I have a few scents here. I've just been really in the mood for those, so I've pulled some extras. This is Britta's Cromwell Cookies, Sugar Cookie Royale, Sugar Cookie Dough, Animal Crackers, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I have Diet Starts Monday from L3, which is Cotton Candy Frosting, Sugar Cookie Royale, Santa's on Keto, and Sugared Shortbread. Cookie Crack from L3, which is Pink Frosted Animal Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Whipped Cream. We have movie night cookie, no, just movie night therapy. It's probably cookie therapy. Yeah, it is. Okay, cookie therapy, vanilla ice cream, waffle cone, and powdered donuts. And pink frosted cake, strawberry sugar, pink frosted animal cookies. All these are sounding really good right now. <laughs> and then I had this leftover as well, circus concession from BZ's. So I'm sure I will use that. Okay, so let's go through the ones that I pulled for my bedroom. I have, and I need to change out my scoops too. I have probably three or four scoops in there that I just mix in as I want to change the, you know, the melt a little bit, the scent of the melt. So I'm a little over them. I have to say I was kind of bored with the scents for both my bathroom and my bedroom this past week. And so I want to totally take out everything and start over because yeah, I was kind of like, Ugh, I don't really like anything. <laughs> I don't know, they weren't bad scents, but I was just kind of over it. I don't know, do you guys get that way too? So I have Mountain Dew type from Beezy's. I know I melted this before. He had a sale and I believe, yes, I did order from him and this is one of the items I picked up several. So I wanted to use this one. Figured I have some more coming. I have from my soda shop sampler, that's hard to say too, from Zabe, the Lime Ricky, which is Key Lime and Fizzy Soda. And then I have ugh, one of my favorites, Bite Me Blonde Moment from L3. I have a Shimmer, which is Raspberries and Sparkling Bubbly from that Smell Good Shop. I could smell that through the package, actually. We have Final Girl, which is Sherbert, Orange Crush, and Fizzy from that Smell Good Shop. And then I have Fizzy Pop. Love for Fizzy Pop. Best one out there in my mind. It's just so good from L3, Bitty Betty. I'm gonna cut that one up and mix in. And is it the Reconante, Reconante? I don't know how to say that, honestly. I should look it up. But anyway, fresh laundry, red apples, and pink sugar. Okay, these start my <laughs> bathroom melt. So this will be bathroom, the next ones. I have gold goatee from L3, gold sugar, pistachio, and savory bakery. I have Lunar Eclipse Pink Sugar. We have Rockstar from Beezy's. Actually, I thought I picked another one, but they must have been in there together. I thought it was Honey, I Washed the Kids. I might pull out the other one since they're different and put both of them in my bathroom. So you might see that one as well. And then from Super Tarts, I have Spencer. French Vanilla Textbooks, Raspberry Sauce, and Orange Zest. This one did come pretty broken as well. This was a different shipment, so you know some of them came broken. But anyway, I want to try that one out and see what I think about it. I have a mess on my desk, but I do have a couple of more coffee scents. Let me pull these out for you, and that will be the basket for the week. Okay, so I have Blackberry Mocha Cookies from Rose Girls. Oh, this was so good. Love this, so I wanted to pull that one again. We have Pumpkin Spice Latte from the coffee sampler from Rose Girls. Pumpkin Spice, had to do it. And then the final one here is Koopa Claus Needs a Latte. 
espresso, Gilligan's brew, baked zucchini bread, and royal sugar cookies. I didn't realize all my coffee this week. Oh no, I lied. There's one more. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, it's all from Rose Girls. But anyway, that one, and I have this one as well. Birdie's Making Sense Pumpkin Spice Latte. So I was in the mood for pumpkin spice latte this week, obviously, and wanted to <laughs> get to melting those. So that is my weekly wax basket in a fall mood. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's fall, y'all. That is the title I'm going with for the week, even though it's 80 degrees. I'm sure it's warm in other parts of the country as well. We're all sweltering together, but I just really love the fall weather and I'm so looking forward to it. And I know we're all like melting fall and <laughs> wax, burning fall candles and really enjoying it. So let me know in the comment section down below. Are you doing a candle of the week this week? Something that you're working on? Are you working on a specific theme for your wax? Are you totally immersed in fall? Have you gone out and got a pumpkin spice latte yet? I have not purchased one, but I did get the, <laughs> the pumpkin spice latte creamer and Starbucks <laughs> flavor. And so, yeah, I haven't purchased one from the store yet. Maybe we will do that very soon and treat ourselves to something like that. So anyway, I so appreciate you watching. I hope you're staying safe and well and healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.